For all the times that you rain on my parade And all the clubs you get in using my name Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to recreate this vampy neutral eye look. It's perfect for a night out or if you've got a special occasion and you want to feel glamorous then this look will be ideal for that. Um, today I got my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit um, in the post which I'm so excited about. I've got the powder one but I really wanted the cream one because I've heard so much about it. So I'll also be using that in today's video. So if you like this look then keep on watching. So to start I'm using NC30 concealer, the Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC and I'm just applying that with a flat brush onto the eye and then blending it in with my finger. An alternative to this is Soft Ochre by MAC, that works really well for blending eyeshadows as well. And the first colour I'm going to use is the colour Raw by MAC. It's a really lovely warm orange shade. Um, I'm just going to use this as the transition colour in the upper crease. This is going to help everything else blend nicely. I'm just using a 224 fluffy brush by MAC to do that. I love this brush for blending, it gets rid of any harsh lines and just makes everything really seamless. Just to deepen that crease colour a little bit I'm going to go in with the texture by MAC, it's a really lovely warm light brown shade. Again, I'm just blending that in with the 224 fluffy brush just to make sure the eyeshadows are nice and smooth. I'm then taking that gold shade. Um, that's an eyeshadow palette by makeup brand MUA. Um, it's really affordable, you can get it from Superdrug um, and the colours are really pigmented so that's really lovely to use. I'm just using a synthetic flat brush by MAC to apply that and I've sprayed it with a little bit of Fix Plus just to make the colour a little bit more vibrant. And then going back in with that fluffy brush just to blend everything in nicely. I just want everything to be really soft and blown out for this look. I'm then going to take Brown Script by MAC which is a reddish brown and just apply that right in the outer corner of the eye and just take that into the inner corner as well just to create a little bit of a spotlight eye but I still want it to be really soft and blended really well. I won't be using any eyeliner on the top of the lid for this look because again I want to keep it really soft and the lips are quite dramatic so I want to keep the eyes quite neutral. I'm then going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I'm using the shade Banana to highlight under the eye. I've heard so much about this kit, I really wanted to try it out, it looks amazing in photographs. As you can tell from my reaction, I love it. The coverage is so good with this kit. I already applied my foundation at the start of the video. But you can use the banana shade under your eye before applying your foundation if you don't want it to look too cakey. I'm just taking whatever's left on the brush and just going right underneath my cheekbone there. For when I do my contour I just want that to pop a little bit. I'm just taking a damp beauty blender and just making sure that's blended all in nicely. I'm 
just taking whatever's left on the end of my foundation brush just to blend that in nicely to make sure I haven't got any lines. I'm just taking the shade Light Sculpt from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm using a Duo Fibre 130 brush by MAC to blend that in. You don't need a lot of product from that kit. I think I put a bit too much on with the highlight, but it was the first time I've used it, so I didn't really know how it was going to take to my skin. But I think next time I'll go a little bit lighter with the highlight. I'm just using a really thin fluffy brush to contour my nose because I don't want the lines to be too thick. You want to keep them as narrow as possible to make your nose look a bit more narrow. I'm just going in the forehead with that same light sculpt shade. And not forgetting the jawline. So I'm just taking Dark Golden Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC just to warm the face up a little bit and to blend all that highlight and contour in nicely. And as it's a powder, it's just going to set all those creams in place. So this is a new technique that I've been using. It's called baking. I absolutely love it. If you're going on a night out and you don't want your makeup to move, then this is a really good technique. It's amazing for stopping your under eye concealer from creasing. And if you're like me and you get a bit of an oily T-zone, then this is an amazing trick just to stop your skin from getting oily throughout the day or throughout the night. And you won't have to keep reapplying powder. I'm just going to let that set on my face for about 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara and then I'm going to apply my lashes off camera. So after applying my false lashes, I'm just going to dust away that translucent powder there. Now I'm just going to go in with Feline Black Coal Liner from MAC, just right on the waterline and on the upper waterline. And then I'm going back in under the eye with brown script. It's that same reddish brown colour from MAC. And it just ties everything in nicely. And it look, makes the look more finished. I'm just blending that in with a 217 brush by MAC. I'm just taking the Merry Luminizer there and just highlighting the inner corner of my eye. I'm just taking the blush Peaches by MAC just to give a bit of a peachy glow to the skin. And it just ties in nicely with the warm eyeshadows that we've used. And again, I'm just taking the Merry Luminizer and just highlighting the tops of my cheeks and the centre of my nose and a little bit of my cupid's bow as well. Now to line the lips, I'm just using Night Moth Lip Liner by MAC. This colour is amazing, it works really well with every single dark lipstick that I've got. I'm just overdrawing my lips just a little bit to make them look 
a little bit fuller. You have to be so careful and precise with dark lip liner. If it goes a little bit wrong, then it just looks awful. And the lipstick that I'm going to use for this look is called Black Heart by Makeup Revolution. It's really affordable. Again, you can just get it in Super Jug. I think it's about £4. It's a liquid lipstick, so it dries matte and it lasts all night long. So this is a really good lipstick if you're going for a meal, because you won't need to keep reapplying throughout the night. So this is the finished look, I hope you guys like it, if you do please leave comments, subscribe, like and share my page, if there's any tutorials that you want to see or makeup looks that you want to see me recreate then please leave your comments below and I'll try and get around to doing them for you, thanks, bye!